Do you know what causes atmospheric pressure? Do you want to visualize one bar of pressure or how much is pressure in your car tire or LPG cylinder? Go ahead, this video is for you. So let's start with basic definition of pressure. Pressure is force per unit perpendicular area. So what causes atmospheric pressure? Let's see that. So this is Earth. Earth is surrounded by in envelope of air and air is denser near the surface of Earth. This air mass is what is causing the atmospheric pressure. How much is this pressure? This pressure when measured near the sea level is one atmospheric and is also equivalent to one bar. How much is one bar? Do you feel one bar of air pressure? Can you visualize it? So this is what we are going to do here. We are trying to visualize how much is one bar of air pressure. For fluids, we can drive pressure is equal to rho g a. So we can do this by taking an air column, I mean cross-sectional area A. We'll start with the basic definition of pressure. Pressure is force per unit area. For atmospheric pressure, force is caused by weight of air mass. And this weight, we can write mass into acceleration due to gravity. Mass we will replace with the product of density into volume. So volume can be replaced by area into height as is shown in this animation. Now once we have done that, we can cut the area in numerator and denominator and we will get the desired relationship. To have sense of one bar of pressure, we need to find height of air column or water column. But height of air column, it is very difficult to find because density is varying. This density will which is at the denominator is not constant in case of atmospheric pressure. So density is more near the bottom of air column as is shown in this. And uh, as you go up, the density goes on decreasing. You can also see this from the graph. You can see the density is near 1.1.2 near the surface of Earth. But as you move up, maybe near 30 kilometers, the density is very less, it's close to zero. Similarly, as you go up, the atmospheric pressure goes on decreasing because mass of air goes on decreasing. So instead of air, let's consider the column is filled with water, which is having uniform density. To calculate height of this water column, we know the density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube. We will assume acceleration due to gravity as 10 meter per second square. Now we also know 1 newton is 1 kg per meter second square. Solving this further will give us height equal to 10 meters. So the height of water column is 10 meter, which is equivalent to 1 atmosphere. Now start the actual visualization part. Let's see how much is 10 meters of height. We will measure the height of one story building. The height of door is normally seven feet. This is around seven feet and three feet on the top. Whereas in, if you see here, it's around 10 feet, six inches and more than three meters. But what we will assume and that is the normal height of building is three meters. We have established that one bar of atmospheric pressure is 10 meters of water column. We have also measured height of one story building, which is three meters. So 10 meters will be equivalent to three story building and with a one meter water tank. So whenever there is one atmospheric pressure or one bar of pressure, you can consider it's a 10 meters of water column, or you can consider you are carrying three stories of building consisting of water. So this is how you can visualize one bar of pressure. Now we can visualize other pressures also for example what is the pressure in car tire and so on. consider gauge pressure gauge pressure is relative to atmospheric pressure your car tire has two to three bars of pressure lpg cylinder has five to seven bars of pressure truck tires has eight to nine bars of pressure CNG cylinder has 200 to 250 bars of gauge pressure to imagine two to three bar of pressure in car tire you can imagine it's a six to nine story building or when you are saying five to seven bar it will be a 15 to 21 story building similarly for a truck tire stories will be 24 to 27 but here 
Well, you can see the stories went out of the stream because it will be 600 to 750 story building. So this is how you can visualize barometric pressure as well as gauge pressure. All these gauge pressures are positive pressures.